Let's take a look at the Cartotype GL library. Cartotype GL is the latest version of the Cartotype map rendering library. Cartotype itself has been around for years and it's very good at doing very precise map rendering with limited resources. So it's very popular on smartphones like uh, Android or iOS. So what we've done is to take that map rendering library, which was already in great shape, and then add a backend vector render to it. So we're taking the data from Cartotype using the Cartotype interfaces and rendering it very quickly on this iPad, for example, using an OpenGL ES-based renderer. So you can see we're getting about 30 frames a second. It's very smooth, very fast. And if you zoom in, you can see that these features are truly vectors and they're not uh, rasterized. So you can move around very quickly with this map. It'll load new tiles as it needs. And it's actually doing something very interesting with the labels. The Cartotype library does a good job at laying out and rendering labels. So we're making use of that by asking it to lay out the labels every uh, fraction of a second and then updating those on the screen. So you can see the label features themselves are, are basically icons. They're images that we're moving around. And the Cartotype library is laying them out when we stop moving. So this gets us a much denser look than you would see from most vector tiles because the label layout isn't pre-calculated. It also lets us do interesting things like uh, rotate or work in different projections or what have you. Things that will be available later on, I imagine. But for this first version, what we're doing is basically just getting the rendering sped up. So where Cartotype was doing a precise render every so often as you moved, it's now handing over that information to the OpenGL ES-based renderer to make it very fast. Now this Cartotype database we're looking at here covers Britain and Ireland. And that, of course, begs the question, how does the library do with a really dense city like London? Now, London presents some interesting obstacles, of course, because it's got a lot of data in it. So as we zoom in to the Thames here, you can see there's a lot of buildings in this data, a lot of points of interest, roads, parks, things of that nature, just features in general. And the toolkit's doing a pretty good job here. You can see it takes a little bit more work to load in the tiles, as you'd expect. There's a lot more labels to lay out, so that's a little bit slower. But it's handling it just fine. And the, the rendering is a nice, steady 30 frames a second. So as far as the user would be concerned, this, this looks and feels quite good. Now we're, we're releasing the Cartotype GL update with uh, just the vector rendering for now. And we'll add some of the other Cartotype features as we go, such as routing and address lookup and some of the other things you can do offline. So that's basically it. That's Cartotype GL, a new fast rendering update for the existing Cartotype toolkit, and we're hoping people really like it.